still rough. So, like we were still kids at the time. Thank God, because nowadays we wouldn't be able to. Do well, it. let's dive into let's dive into the Yomi the Yomi years the Yomi year. Damn. What what happened? Because Yomi to me sound like such a good mix of talent, not just in the game but also on camera. Like mm-hmm. these guys were ready to have personalities shine through. Had, what happened, bro? Had we had known what we know now, like with because we had so much potential there with like on camera, you know camera potential but we just didn't really like we streamed but we didn't really like make youtubes and all that uh could have went so much more different but it was it was good while it lasted you know all the guys came um wow long ass story yomi huh yeah let's go man let's dive into it this is why we're here yeah this is why we're here so i guess we, i'll just continue with my story then because that's kind of <laughs> like it just like kind of ties into it all yeah so i get called that tuesday and um, Reno Rex calls me, um, and he's like, uh, tells me about this whole Yomi thing. I'm throwing a thousand dollar tournament every Tuesday, you know, and um, uh, I'm gonna fly you guys out out to everything. I'm gonna have this house here for you guys, like. And you know, how do you had did you know this guy beforehand? Was he a member yeah, of the so beforehand or how it ended up, how it ended up happening? I could tell the story of how we met. I guess it kind of all ties in. Sure. Yeah. Um, it was at NCR, the one that I had gotten second at. I was just like a kid at the time and I had had like a joint or something. And I was just like, I needed a lighter. Like I was about to play my match versus like Wound Cowboy or something or like P-Board actually. I was like mad nervous. I was like, dude, I like need a, and I was like scouting like, dude, I could not find my lighter. So I seen like this buff, like, like army looking like kind of like swole like thug looking fool you know (laughs) reno like just like the classic like you know and i'm just like hey i was like uh it's like you got a lighter and he's like yeah he's like what's up i was like well i got like this little joint like over here like you and so we ended up going like to the staircase or whatever and uh this fool is like rummaging things bag and like he pulls out like uh he pulls out like his phone like um, his little travel thing and then like a big ass wad of money and he just like sets it right there and he's like oh here it is I'm just like who the fuck is this dude <laughs> and <laughs> so we get lit and uh and you know how Reno is like he, he'll go on and like tell like a long ass story so he goes on on this tale about Yomi and like this place called Yomi like how yeah, he wants to set up like this gaming type like place type camp to where all the competitors are going to be like you know and he just tells that goes on with this tale and i'm just thinking like who the fuck he's like, like telling you his dreams right yes. we're like is this a snake no, oil and i'm just salesman, thinking like this or... sounds so like is this is Too this is literally true. like the dream this is the dream you know and so i ended up seeing him at a few majors after that he's traveling to everything and we chill at mlg anaheim evo all all the tournaments you this know? is what 2012 this is 2013 2013 20, okay. no 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 this is mk 11 ncr no you mean, was, you mean nine <laughs> i mean nine, nine sorry yeah. sorry sorry um this was 2013 yes when injustice had just came out and ncr had just popped okay wow we're going back to this is it feels like it's not wow. long ago but it is a long time it is ago a long time ago yeah and this space so yeah so we ended up chilling so whatever after uh we were we were cool. He, we like stayed at a hotel a few times. He let us crash with them because he had always had money. He was like an older guy. Sure. We were just a bunch of like stupid kids staying on hotel, staying on hotel room floors all the time. And um, so we, yeah, he let us me and Tyrant crash with them at MLG. So whatever. After Northwest Majors, he calls me up that Tuesday, and we ended up going out there. And it was good, dude. When I first got there, it was uh, me, King, and Michelangelo were there, and uh, Bibulus brought me in, and. Uh, I had gotten there and I just got to Atlanta. I was anxious, ready to smoke. So I smoked and uh, I played King in casuals, bro. And he iced my shit in the Kung Jin mirror. Like it was like 4 0 before we had to go. And we were going to leave to a tournament. Michelangelo stayed. So we get to the tournament. King's feeling himself. And I ended up bodying his shit and winning the first <laughs> ever Mortal Kombat tournament. And um, with all of us there. And um, yeah, man. Um, after that, um, how it played out was. He was like, yo, I'm calling up the um, the Terry brothers. Like, I'm thinking they're going to come out. And so they end up showing up. And then um, and then he wants to get Rio. And he's like, at this time, dude, Rio is like a legend to me. He had never missed a top eight in Injustice 1. He was God in MK9, like all the MKs, you know, MKDC, all that, everything, MK3. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, 
I was just hella bragging on. Before I knew him, knew him, I was just like, whoa, you know. He gets him. I end up figuring out how Giuseppe Grosso really is. Like, his fucking, he's a little shit. <laughs> but well, there's a lot of stories. But, yeah. Um, time goes on. We end up getting him and Zy Fox because Zy Fox drove him down. And then, you know, Zy Fox ended up chilling. And it was always, like, a thing for Zy Fox to prove himself because everyone there was kind of already godlike and shit. Mm-hmm. And then he made Top 8 at Evo. And so it kind of worked out. He became one of our best friends. And it was just a great tale. But what had happened was is um, to kind of like wrap it up, you know, because there's obviously a couple more games after Mortal yeah, Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so everything was going good. And obviously the whole Yomi story played out like and it was all good. But towards the end of it, um, the guy who um, ran it, you know, uh, Reno Rax, he had ended up getting in trouble with the law with weed and he caught a charge and so it was kind of like you know oh we're we're, everything is still like going he had caught that charge and it was still good everyone's like okay like we're still gonna do this but then he got caught up with a law again and then his and then right then and there it's like his well-being is on the line you know and it's like wow we don't even know what's gonna happen with him like at first when he caught his first charge it's like okay like everything's still good like he's he's not gonna like be like that in trouble with the law can like, you go into the details of the charges Was so it? yeah like he ended up now this is um, in what state again um so the first time it was um he was in like florida okay and um they had got caught with like a, a large sum of weed so um they uh it's like a, a felony amount of yeah, weed you know yeah um over like 10 pounds or whatever and so they ended up like working it out and he wasn't gonna catch like a big charge or they was gonna be on like pro um probation or something and um but then when he got caught up the second time, that's when it like gets really bad. Like you're, you know, yeah, you're going to catch a charge. Like, already, yeah, geez. you're going to like, so the guys were scared, you know, and I don't blame them, but they like, they started like going home, the Terry brothers first, you know, like, and I, we kind of, me and Michelangelo throughout the time kind of knew what was going on. Like, you know, but the, the other guys, like kind of, you know, they were a little bit oblivious to it and which was like, it was okay. They, they can like, you know, enjoy the time. But, but he didn't want the drama to be coming into the house. Exactly he what, wanted you guys to focus on the game. Exactly, but which was it? He but, was trusting you guys like, hey, this is gonna, some stuff's up in the air now because of this, so kind of But But when, whenever it happened, though, like, he, he was straight up with us. Like, whenever okay. he caught his first charge, like, he was – but when he caught his second charge, God, that's what, when – This is so crazy, man. I live in Washington State, and I'm going like, what? That's still happening in the United States, on bro? On charges, man. You know how many people have died for marijuana use? Zero. Zero compared to alcohol or – so, other substances but geez man there's so plenty yeah. of smart people in books that have talked about that but go ahead so um the terry brothers are um end up going home first um and then soon after that uh like king dipped out like he went on like a little break to like ohio or something yeah like i remember back. that i remember that and then rio like went up north to like where he was staying soon after that Zy Fox. and then so it was just me michelangelo uh blake and um like reno over there and uh that's when Michael like I had went home for like a little bit you know to visit home and Michelangelo was just there with him and he kind of like without me there like you know without any of the bros there like he kind of just like he kind of was like falling off you know <laughs> yeah. he's like I kind of you guys go weren't back. there to motivate each other exactly right? so when I came back um he was just ready to go okay and so I was like fuck like I at that point I'm like dang Yomi really is like it's you know start, and I yeah. understand though like Ugh. dude you know it's not what it once was and also Mortal Kombat was like we had already had all the pro series. It was already coming towards it's like, you yeah, know, we wanted a season four, but look, it wasn't in the cards. So it just everyone just knew what it was. And so it was just time. Mm-hmm.